What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. I got some stuff to show you guys. Alright, so I uh, hope you guys remember back in the video. If I can find it, I'll post it up now. My man Mark right here. Mark, hey. say what's up? What's up? <laughs> so this guy, my friend Mark, he um, unfortunately has had some health issues going on with him and he is having some difficulties. So he was in the hobby of the RC hobby and unfortunately with his medical condition that he has, he is not able to do any more RC. Um, I forget exactly what it was that he had, uh, but he, it's hard for him to breathe when, so going out for like long walks and everything and, um, and whatnot, and it is just hard for him. So he decided to move on to other things. And when he moved on to other things, he decided that he wanted to get out of the RC hobby, which is unfortunate. But because of his health, I completely understand why he did what he did. So he gave me a call and he asked me if I wanted to buy his stuff. <laughs> so I bought his stuff. And what he had with him, I'll tell you guys at the end of the video what I paid for everything. But what he had with him, he wanted everything gone. So I said, hey, I'll come by, take a look, and see what you got. And, you know, we'll make a deal from there. So what he had for sale was this guy, Gen 8. I believe it's the version 1 because the version 1 still has a hump in the middle here of the skid plate. So he was selling this guy with the it came with this body he must have gotten this body because this is not the axe edition I don't believe it's the axe edition I could be wrong if somebody could tell me I don't believe it's the axe edition he also gave me the orange scout body which I have right here so I got the orange scout body and he also had this so he was a real big he's a real big fan of the unimogs he had this with him the axial unimog body cab actually with everything for it everything so with so with these one two three pieces course the controllers for everything um, he also had had this guy right here the Terramoto 10 from Red Cat he's a real big Red Cat fan <laughs> he's a real big Red Cat fan um, I have plans for this guy this guy I do have plans for uh, so stay tuned, stay tuned, because I have plans for this. I mean, I got plans for the for the Gen 8 too, but I got some plans for this guy. Um, I I will be honest, I do not know much about the Terramoto 10 other than other than I don't know much about it. <laughs> other than it's a red cat. Um, what else? do we have oh so he also with that purchase he also gave me a charger uh, battery charger which is almost like mine that I have over here somewhere and this thing so this is mine that I originally had but he had one and he also gave that to me included with 
everything that I bought. Um, so he basically got out of the hobby, which is unfortunate because again, it's a great hobby and everything. At least when it's nice and warm outside, it's, it's nice. The hobby is great. But when, you know, unfortunately you have health issues like he has, he, um, he's not able to do it. So let's get back with the Gen 8. So I have, so I'm going to go this way and down. So I do have plans for this Gen 8. Hopefully you guys will want to see that. So the plans that I have for this Gen 8 is this. I got another 1.6 scale hard body from New Bright that I want to do. <laughs> Call me crazy. I already have the Hummer, but I'm a Ford truck guy. I love Ford trucks. Um, I love Ford trucks. So when I saw this guy, I figured, you know what? I, I'm, I'm, I'm buying it. I'm going to buy it. I want to do something with this and check it out. It's got spinners. It's got spinner wheels. <laughs> we will not be using those guys. So, I found, so I found this guy on Facebook Marketplace. I think I paid 25 bucks for it. Of course, I had to go pick it up. Uh, went to the person's house, picked it up. There are a couple things that I want to take off of here. Uh, but the body does have some issues on it. One of the biggest issues that the body has is this. So right there is this huge crack coming all the way from back here, all the way to the front, coming along there. I mean, it's got his blemishes, scratches and everything. Got some blemishes right there. Uh, got some blemish right here up on there. We got a sunroof. I don't remember an F-150 having a sunroof, but whatever. It's got a full interior. As you guys can see, I most likely will be doing something with that interior. But as you guys can see, it's got the interior and everything. And the, the funny is that the interior in this kind of sort of looks like the, uh, the Hummer interior. Um, it's got the door handles there. It's got these pieces there that strap holders. Um, this right here is coming off, which these stripes will be coming off. There you go. So these stripes will be coming off anyway. Again, we got the spinners. We have the rear diffuser there. We got a full bed. Whoa, I'm trying to do this two-handed I do like that it's a step side bed there we go leave it like that you know it's got its little blemishes and everything more than likely that's gonna be one that's gonna wind up coming off these stripes the f-150 will be coming off but I do kind of like the color scheme the gray and the maroon on there I have to figure out the mirrors I still got to try to figure out the mirrors on the Hummer, but this guy, I got to figure out how to do the mirrors. The, the bed here, I have some things that I might be doing with the bed. Um, the doors, unfortunately, do not open, but I want to make it so at least 
the front doors open. I want to try to do that. I want to try to make it. Uh, I want to try to make it so that the hood opens. Um, we do have fog lights. At least they're just lenses there. Uh, there are lights in here. So with that, oh, and talking about lights. Talking about lights. Sorry. Um, he also gave me with that whole purchase this light kit from Red Cat. So this is going to be another project that I will be doing on it. I'm not going to be rushing on this one as much. Uh, I'm not going to be rushing onto on this project as much. This is going to be my long-term winter project. Uh, I have ideas of what I'm going to be doing. The rear suspension because it does have a bed. The rear suspension, I'm thinking about doing like a cantilever suspension on it. Uh, the front, it's all going to be open. I was thinking about making the hood be able to open and everything. Um, I just got to see how exactly the Ford hood opens because I don't remember if the grill also opens up with the hood or if it's just the hood itself and the grill stays in place. I'm not 100% sure on that because I do remember Ford did do that and I forget what years that the grill uh, that the grill actually opened up with the hood so I gotta check out and see exactly how Ford did it uh, I don't even remember the year of the same pro it's probably a 2006 model body style so I'll be uh, doing that and I'm going to get myself into another 1-6 scale project. That's what I'm going to do. Why do I get myself into these things? I don't know. But I like these big RCs. I like them. Hopefully you guys will stick around and see what this is going to come out to look like. Um, if you guys are interested in that, let me know down in the comment section. If you guys want me to move on from it. Let me know down in the comments section um, and we'll go from there. So with that being said, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and we will, and I'll be with you in another video. You all have a good one.